Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Foliage. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a very beautiful plant called as the Begonia Morris Emmy. Now, it is a strong cane-like begonia hybrid, sometimes referred to as the mallet. Its leaves are covered with pink silver dots. The main veins are dark olive green in color and the back of the leaf is dark blood red. Now guys, unfortunately, I had this earlier, but when I was shifting the house, unfortunately, it did not survive. So I really thank one of my friend, Chitra Ma'am. Thank you so much for sending this plant. It's an absolutely beautiful plant. I got this plant a couple of weeks back. I had put a plastic cover over it for it to get acclimated in my environment. A little bit of dryness on the leaves, which is absolutely normal because right now the environment is very dry and it is almost summers over here. So the plant is taking a little bit more time for it to get acclimated and adjusted in my new environment. But I'm happy at least it started to put out new growth, which means that it is starting to settle in my environment. Now, guys, let's talk in detail about the care tips of this plant, starting off with light. Do not expose your begonia to direct sunlight. Offer it indirect but bright light. If you're keeping it indoor, ensure you're keeping it near the window. Wherever it is getting a good amount of light, do not let the sunlight, especially the afternoon sunlight, fall onto the leaves. Otherwise, the leaves will get burnt. You can grow it indoor. You can grow it outdoor as well. There is not much of an issue. Now, talking about the soil mix, I tend to use the same soil mix, which is loose, porous and well-draining. Begonias like a very loose soil. They prefer a soil that tends to drain out the excess water. Use a pot that has a drain hole. They do not like to be sitting in soggy, wet soil. Otherwise, the plant will have a root rot. So you have to be extremely careful. Don't use a soil mix that tends to turn compact. If your soil is turning compact, then add a little bit more of sand and perlite because they really love airy, loose soil mix. Now, over here, what I have done is I have added another layer of coco peat because as I said, it's quite dry in my place and the soil tends to dry very fast. So I have added a layer of coco peat so that the soil can stay slightly moist because they prefer slightly moist soil. Talking about watering, do not let the soil dry out completely. Whenever you see that the upper layer of soil around two inches is dry, go ahead and do a complete watering. Of course, again, during summers, the frequency is going to be a little bit more as compared to winters. During winters, you'll have to reduce the watering. During summers, you'll have to increase the watering. Again, this depends upon your environment and climate. Now, talking about temperature and humidity, they would prefer a temperature that is between uh, 15 degrees Celsius up to 35 degrees Celsius. And they do love a good amount of humidity. Now, as you all know, in my city, the humidity levels are very low. So what I do is during the afternoons, I do a slight misting on the plant. I do not mist on the leaves but just above do not let the water come in contact with the leaves because begonias do not like water sitting on the leaves that can lead to a fungal attack. So what I usually tend to do is I just take the misting bottle and I just mist above the plant and not on the plant. It's very important. You have to do it above the plant. Now, guys, uh, usually they do well in a humidity that is between 40% up to 60%. Probably that is the reason why my plant is still doing quite well despite a little bit of low humidity because uh, there are different varieties of begonias. You have wax begonias, you have rex begonias and you have the cane begonias. Again, there are more varieties as well, but these are the most common ones ones that we usually tend to keep. Among all of this, I have felt that the Rex begonias are much more delicate and fragile compared to the cane and the wax begonia. Wax begonias are very hardy. Cane begonias are also a little bit hardy, but Rex begonias are very, very delicate. So you have to be extremely careful which one you are purchasing. As I said this earlier as well, if you are from a very dry environment and it is summers, wait until the monsoons arrive. Once there is a good amount of humidity and once the environment is cooler with a lot of moisture, only then go ahead and purchase uh, begonias online. Talking about fertilizers, you can do that during the summer months because that's when they tend to put out uh, blooms or they tend to grow a little bit faster. During winters, cut down on your fertilizers. You can give any liquid fertilizer probably once a month or once in two months and it is going to work out really well. Usually the cane begonias, especially the Morris Emmy tends to grow really fast once it's completely established. Uh, the initial time is what is very crucial for them to get acclimated and adjusted in your environment. Once that happens, then this plant is very strong. It tends to do quite well. Just the initial stage is what you need to take care. Propagation is pretty simple. Uh, I will do a propagation video very soon. Right now, I cannot do any propagation on this one because it's not going to survive. It's still very, very weak. It has to get properly settled and adjusted in my environment. But 
as and when that happens i will definitely make a video on the begonia propagation you can do a stem cutting put it into the water or into the soil you can even take the leaf and cut it and put it in a container in a closed container keep the soil slightly moist it is a process i will definitely make a video on it so it can be done via root division stem cutting or even with leaves now the most important thing is this plant toxic yes this plant is toxic to pets and humans as well so ensure that you're keeping this plant away from the reach of small children and pets overall it's a quite easy to grow plant uh, as i said the initial stage is what you have to be extremely careful once the plant is completely settled and acclimated in your environment then it is very hardy just the initial stage is what you need to take care so guys that's all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating